Alright, since uh, in the other video we pretty much went over the Raider. Uh, so, in this video we're going to go over the clip. Also, yeah, I showed you the collapsing stock. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, there's this little nub in the back here that you press down and then you can uh, put it at any one of those uh, for, yeah, whatever. So, uh, let's talk about clips, shall we? Here is a painted clip, no duh, but um, it's got spacers in the bottom of it. We'll all go through it actually in use with my uh, Angel Breach long shot. I'll show you uh, basic clips work fine in the Raider. So it does have the potential to be Angel Breached. I'm actually going to try to make my own breach for it, call it Nice Breach, uh, but we'll see how well that goes. Here's my Angel Breach long shot. Fits no problem. Works great. Gets kind of in the way, but uh, yeah, this gun I'm not gonna dry fire. But uh, gets it's not very comfy. Gets kind of in the way of my arm when I'm trying to use the front gun. But it's manageable, and it's definitely worth it for the shots, of course. So uh, yeah, I. It's actually a very comfy blaster, though. I'd give it a 8.5 out of 10. It's it's much thinner than the long shot, but they're the same length, basically. So quite similar. Raiders actually a little bit longer. So it's I I'd give it an A plus for a stock gun, but uh. It's a little low on the modding potential side, but it is fun as a stock gun. As far as I can see and hear, and through looking uh, through the tube sideways when it's primed, it appears to have an inverse plunger. You know, that sucks, but uh, what are you going to do? And I'm sure that there will be a couple people on the Haven that know how to replace that, so big deal. One, there, there are a lot of nifty, wow, that was a stupid word, there are a lot of different things about this gun I'm just still exploring myself. So here's the back, that's unprimed, turns orange when it's primed so you know it's ready to fire. Of course, can't see that when the stock's on it, but uh, it's very lightweight, it's lighter than a recon I'd say. Also the stock is interchangeable with a recon stock so it'd be easy to chop it there and then have this orange piece come back and prime a spring that you would put in the back of the stock. Also, um, one of the mods I'm thinking about doing is replacing this handle with a shotgun grip. Not for this one in particular, but uh, if I screw up, I'm in trouble. But the, the bolt sled in here does not look like it takes any pressure, just the wire. The wire that connects the uh, rate the handle to the bolt sled is very thick. It looks extremely sturdy. So the bolt sled actually isn't taking any weight from the spring. It's all the wire. And I don't think a metal wire is going to snap under spring pressure. So we're, we're good on pressure. It's not going to snap like the long shots bolt sled. All right, a lot of people are asking, what's going on with the clip? The clip is very strange. It's got this bar that when uh, pushed down, a, another bar comes out the top, or the bottom, that rotates the drum. So, demonstration on how it loads. Well, you gotta load. So you load six before it does anything with the actual drum. All right, so there's six starts. Now when you load the seventh dart, uh, well, still nothing happens. All right, I miscounted. Eight, nothing. Nine, nothing. All right, so when you load the tenth dart, you see the very bottom one 
starts to go into a slot and when you push it down to load the 11th dart the next one goes into a slot and then you see as I push it down even more the drum rotates because it's got a spring behind this black piece and this black piece is just to reset um, jams evidently it doesn't help it load so uh, I'm just gonna load this clip up so you can see how it works a lot a lot a lot of darts And really, it does hold more than 35. I've pushed it to 37, but I would not suggest it because it could jam. And jams are never fun. So don't even bother. I'm just trying to point out every little detail I can possibly think of. Alright, so there's all 35. And you see, there's still space for more darts to fit. So you could push this down and probably fit two more darts in that space there. But again, I would not suggest it. So, uh, yeah. And again, this black, this black piece in the middle does nothing that I can really see. So, um, what happens is when it's in the radar, the Raider Breach comes and pushes this dart out, which, well, it actually pushes it in. It hits, all right, so there's this tube, and it hits a wall, and uh, the dart gets pushed into the tube, but when the tube is all the way there, the wall goes down and exposes it to the barrel, which is done by a series of locks. So this dart gets put into the tube, so the tube is now holding the rest of the darts down, and when it's shot, the breech is open, so it's shot, this dart comes out, the breech is open, this dart advances up. Everybody on the Haven knows that, but for the people that don't know that, that's why I explained it. For everybody else, I'm not retarded, I was just trying to be helpful. So um, when the breech takes these darts away, you see how the drum rotates itself. I'm not going to do it with all these darts because it took forever to put them in there and I want to be able to shoot some of them because shooting this gun is so much fun. But you see, you get the gist of how it works. It's pretty easy. It's a very, very stable drum mag, which is against what a lot of people thought. These, uh, these ridges that hold the darts do not go all the way through. They go there's about half an inch and then a bunch of dead space and then half an inch at the other end. So it would be very, very hard to get this to accept small Stefan darts. I, I think almost impossible. Darts would have to be exactly this long, no longer, no shorter to accept in this clip, which is something I'm not very fond of. But again, it does take these clips. And this clip would be beast in a non-angel breached long shot. So I'm just going to go ahead and fire off the rest of these. And I know everybody loves to see it fire. So. Also, the slam fire mode is simply holding down the trigger while you're pumping it. And it shoots when the dart, or when the handle is pushed up at the very end. And yes, in the other video I was dry firing it a good bit, but you have to dry fire it to get it closed, and it's still got the air restrictors in, so dry firing really doesn't do anything. So, yeah, with the air restrictors out, it's bad for it, though. So, uh, when I do take them out, probably later today, I will not be dry firing it. Also, one of the things, you can pull the trigger all the way back, which is uh, what you need to do for slam fire mode. But even if you had it unpulled and you prime this back and then you pull it, it doesn't shoot forward. That's not the way this works. And I don't really understand that, but I'm sure I will when I open it up later today. You actually have to push the handle forward and then it fires.
So, yeah, that's uh, Raider Video 2. More to come.